Hello everybody, I am glad to present a third annual Baltic Sea region 5G uh, event. It's a pleasure to see uh, how this event is growing year by year and even this year in such an unusual virtual format. It uh, looks to me at least by number of participants and by uh, names who will be discussing and presenting that the whole event is uh, gaining traction and it will be very interesting for me uh, to see all other presentations and also for uh, employees of my company as well. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Janis Berks and I am Vice President of Sales and Marketing at a company called SAF Technica, SAF Technica. And the subject of my presentation is pretty interesting, but the one that concerns me for a rather long time. I will be trying to discuss thought uh, is uh, 5G something for elephants or for regular guys like me and like you. And by elephants I mean, you know, all these huge multi-billion companies, Ericsson's and Nokia's of this world. And we know that recent trends in the telco world is that companies are merging and getting bigger and bigger like uh, last couple of years main telco event in United States was the merger of T-Mobile and Sprint. And generally, you know, capital investments are getting bigger, networks are getting more complicated, and therefore there are fewer and fewer small independent companies playing into that space. So I ask myself a question, is there a place and something to do uh, for smaller players? Of course, I am presenting myself here as a regular guy, therefore I have to tell a few words about uh, what SIF Technica is and what it does. So we are Riga-based manufacturer of wireless telecommunications equipment. We are in business uh, over 20 years. Most of all our products are manufactured right here in this factory, made in Latvia. Our products are being sold and used in about 130 countries, including Antarctica, Sudan, in European countries and so on. As I said, our headquarters is uh, here in Riga. We have a subsidiary in Denver, in United States. And uh, size-wise, we plan that our annual revenue this year will be somewhere in a ballpark of 20 million euros. We have about uh, 200 employees uh, working for SAF, both in our Riga office and also in our Denver office. And few people are scattered over United States working from uh, home offices. We started with point-to-point -point radios, mostly used for carriers to connect the base stations. As I said, we are in this business over 20 years. We started, there were certain competition and landscape. Looking back on who our competitors were producing this equipment, what I see uh, uh, sadly is a graveyard. Because maybe SAF is almost only company that were in a business 20 years ago and goes on for 20 years without changing names, without changing owners, essentially producing similar product. All the other guys are either dead or they are acquired and merged with larger companies, whatever. Even in a short period of time, five years I was in United States running SAF's Denver subsidiary, I think I saw three or four of our competitors going out of the business and being offered for sale. And that leads me to the conclusion, pretty obvious conclusion, that to be in a telco business, you should innovate or you will die. Innovate or die. And uh, in the next story, I will focus a little bit on uh, what SAF has done and is doing in order to stay in the business and also find its place in a road ahead. But before a little bit about 5G, I've been coming uh, and for a long time, main event in the world, in telco world was in Barcelona, late February each year. It's called Mobile World Congress, attracted a couple of hundred thousand people, seven exhibition halls, so huge, huge event everybody was trying to go there place to meet try new partnerships and so on when you would go to barcelona 
you would see stands of these large companies like Ericsson or Nokia, some large carriers, and they would resemble castles with walls, with hundreds or maybe even more employees and visitors, invitation only. They would not let any other kind of people from streets to go in and see what they are doing. Very kind of a closed society, which kind of brings me back to the thought that 5G might be a game of elephants, maybe. And also for many years, 5G was just an empty talk. It's like industry was trying to invent a next wave because everybody needs to manufacture something to deploy and kind of push forward all that technology development but the traction was not there it was like 5g 5g nothing happened this is probably first year when you can buy actually a mobile handset samsung or uh, iphone 12 that supports 5g so it's kind of a little bit of 5g is there but uh, how well it will gain traction it remains to be seen but looking on the interest just a number of participants in this event and others and also that there is some real uh, hardware out there then definitely we can see that the whole concept and idea of 5g is uh, gaining traction but now back to SAF and kind of how SAF was trying to cope and uh, stay alive find a path forward so first in about mid around 2012 or so in addition to our microwave products we came out with a little handheld tool more appropriately it's a family of tools handheld spectrum analyzers test and measurement supplement uh, to what we are doing with our radios i can also show a few of them something like that and the idea here is shown in this picture the idea is very simple when you are deploying 5g cells it's a higher frequency and that means there are more microwave transmitters you need much more cells and that means you need more technicians you have more transmitters you have more interference and uh, there comes or 5g spectrum analyzers that every technician can learn and use fairly easy and do field work more efficiently and quicker so that was our second leg uh, that we added in addition to our microwave radios and here is just a quick list of all industries and applications uh, where you can use this tool and then uh, later, somewhere around 2017, we saw all that Internet of Things trend coming. More automation, more need to sense environment around you, collect data, analyze data. And we came out with a product platform called Aronet, which essentially is a wireless sensor network that can store transmit measurements different measurements of environment what happened this year you know covid19 unexpectedly came and we are struggling with covid19 right now as i speak people try to get kids back to school so all the question about safer office environment doctors have discovered that uh, covid is being transmitted by aerosol by air and that means in order to have a safer office space safer indoor environment uh, you need to have a better ventilation suddenly the issue is how to monitor and measure quality of your air quality of your ventilation it happened maybe it's blind luck of course no one plans uh, covid coming we had a device called rnet4 that is exactly monitoring quality of your air co2 levels in the air having a display it's right here 520 means super quality of air where I am presenting. If that would be over thousands, then that would be already bad. And we see exploding demand, many schools, school districts, universities, everybody suddenly needs such a device and needs to analyze how it changes over time. So that's how we kind of suddenly felt that there is also a third leg for our business. And it all ties in into 5G, telecommunications, transmitting data, analyzing data. And that's how we found that also regular guys can be part of what's happening now. And there is a place road ahead for everybody who is willing to be innovative and is not willing to die. That concludes my presentation. So if you want to do business with SAF Technica with us, then you are more than welcome uh, to reach us out and we will be happy to talk with you.